And as I said, I'm going to show you a few of my coins um, that I have. I mean, this is my control penny. You can see it's a 2017. It is a D class penny, so it was made in Denver. And as you can see, this mark right there, that's the stamp or signature. And as you can see, there's a shield on the back of it. Certain pennies right around here where AM is for America. You want to pay attention to some of them. If they have the wide AM, it's worth money. If they have the close AM, it's worth money. It also depends on the year of the penny. But as you see, that's just a regular penny, nothing special. Now let's put in one of the pennies that weighed 3.1 grams instead of 2.5, the standard weight. You know, you got, you got raised lettering for the In God We Trust. So 1977. But still, I mean, nothing special really. You flip it over. And if you look, you got United States of America, white and M right up here, as you can see. But that doesn't mean nothing yet. And it's still this one cent. Okay, let's try another penny. That weighed the same. Ooh, where's that one penny I want to use? Ah, here we go. There, that's the one we'll use. This is a 1976. <laughs> penny that has been basically chewed up so basically that probably be worth exactly one penny if you look at the back you got the same scenario it's been chewed up nothing special about the back there okay now let's go to the next one on the slot the nickel let me see we got in God we trust Liberties right there, 1977. Remember to always keep coins that are 1965 or younger or older. I mean, that came up for 1965 because they're silver and they're basically collectible, and some are worth money. So basically, no die cast errors or chips on this coin right there. Nothing I can see at least. As you look, we got the whole nickel right there. This is Monticello, five cents, nothing special. The usual jumbo jumbo. Here is a newer nickel. As you can see, it is 1912, 19, it's like 2012. You got trust. But look at that. They stamped that so it goes like he's actually staring into your soul, don't you think? I mean, look at that. This is your back of your nickel. Nothing very really special about that. I mean, I don't know if the NM on America right here stand for anything really, whether they're closer or far apart about nickels as far as it goes. I'll do more research on that. Alright, let's do some dimes. This is me a quick thing to, to show you that I'm actually into doing this because I want all of us to earn some good money on this project. This is a 1921D Dwight Eisenhower dime. Nothing special on the front. Hmm, I don't know. I'm looking at that. I mean, right around here and over here too if you look there's gonna be some doubling if you have doubling on it that means it's actually worth money but I do not see any doubling but if you do let me know please now let's do the quarters this is a 1966 Quata. Nothing really special about it. There's a lot of wear and tear. Liberty's all sort of chewed up. And then if you look right here, you got the close to AM on the quarter. I don't know if that really means anything. But 
See, nothing really ma messy to stand out. I mean, you'll see doubling right down here as well. Excuse me. And if you see that, it's worth money. And let's do the last quarter. Liberty, there he is. It's a D. Bicentennial quarter. They say to keep these because these also will have die cast and die chip errors on them as well. Well, that and also a pretty cool iconic piece of, Amer of history. And then if you look right here, the A and M, look like they're actually connected on this one. I'd have to find out other bicentennials to figure out if that's how it works, but we'll see. We'll find out. I just keep going down. Nothing special, really, that I can see. Yeah, it's about a standard quarter size of AM, but it looks like it's connected. And, well, for the fun of it, let's give you a 3.1 penny. Raised 1976 D penny. It looks to be in pretty good shape. So you got white AM right there, no floating roof. And as far as the rest of my episode today, this is actually cuts it short. It's been running pretty long as well. But until next time, you guys have a wonderful evening or day, depending on when you watch this. And Let's start looking at money together so we can all make some good money off the mistakes the government makes when they make the, the coins. And thank you for joining What's in Your Pocket.